Okay, the best show ever was Kung Fu. You remember Kung Fu Balls? Yeah, I remember that show. That was great. That bald dude. All them crackers was bald, dummy. Crackers? They were all Chinese, you nut job. No way, Mikey. That grasshopper lunatic, he was a cracker. The man wasn't going to pay no China man all that money to be the star unless he was white. You know that. He let the China dudes die and he railroad mine scenes and shit. Oh, Christ. Snatch the pebble from my hand. It is time for you to leave. You funny, Mikey. You know what 70s show you remind me of? What's happening? Remember Rerun? Yeah, you the white Rerun. Oh, that's funny. It just so happens that Fred Berry was a very good looking guy, and I bet you he got a lot of chicks. You're not Fred Berry, Mikey. You are not good looking, you cannot dance, and you cannot get a lot of chicks. You just fat, Mikey. Get it? Okay, you little whore. What was your favorite show, Chico and the Man? No, it wasn't Chico and the Man fat, so my favorite show was anything starting with the great actress Rita Moreno or Chita Rivera. Okay, Mikey, they had more class in one little finger than you have in your whole enormous bloated body. Okay, well, I know Tyrone loved the Jeffersons. Tyrone loved the Jeffersons and good times. Mm-hmm. Except... I didn't like that skinny dude always walking around going, dynamite, dynamite. I mean, what was he trying to blow up anyway? Black dudes never played with no dynamite. You crazy white people are always the ones blowing shit up. We don't have no Timothy McVeigh on our side. And I didn't like Michael. No black dudes ever acted like Michael. What was his problem? But Velma, man, oh man. Tyrone liked Velma. Oh, yeah. Velma. Velma would come on the television. Tyrone would be all happy. Sometimes Tyrone would have to lock the door so Mama couldn't get in when Velma was on. Tyrone, ew! I used to like MASH in Emergency. Rampart, this is Squad 51. That was great stuff, that show. I should have been a doctor. Oh, Mikey. Always trying to help people. So adorable. Wait, I just threw up inside my mouth a little bit. Bulls, what was your favorite TV show? Huh? We didn't watch a lot of TV in our house, Mikey. You know that. We were busy memorizing The Godfather Parts 1 and 2. Those movies are like a religion in our house. If you watch closely, they tell you exactly how to live. Very true, very true. Like when Carlos sold Sonny down the river and Michael was getting the truth out of him. You have to answer for Santino, Carlo. You fingered Sonny for the Barzini people. Ah, uh, that little farce you played with my sister. You think that could fool a Corleone? Come on, don't be afraid, Carlo. Come on. You think I make my sister a widow? I'm godfather to your son, Carlo. You're out of the family business. That's your punishment. You're finished. I'm putting you on a plane to Vegas. I want you to stay there, understand? Only don't tell me you're innocent. Because it insults my intelligence. And it makes me very angry. Now who approached you? Tataglia or Barzini? Then he goes, give him a drink like everything's fine. And Carla goes, it was Barzini. Michael goes, good. Then he puts him in the car... And Clemenza does them in right there. Bada bing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. Man, you greaseballs are some crazy people. What? Don't have our brothers killed and you have nothing to worry about. Good one, Mikey. Goddamn greaseballs. You know, Julian, I feel bad because we all had role models on TV back in the day. But you really didn't, did you? America was still closed down back then. Well, that is certainly true, Mikey, but I did have some things I could look to and identify. You just had to look a little harder. Like, I always thought Mr. Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was doing the mailman, but of course, they never came out and said it. Of course, there was Jonathan Harris, who played Dr. Zachary Smith on Lost in Space. I mean, good Lord, he was actually flamboyant, wasn't he? 
delicious. Then, gloriously enough, in 1977, Billy Crystal got to play Jody Dallas on the famous sitcom Soap. He was a gay man who was having an affair with a quarterback and contemplating gender reassignment surgery. So, I did have some refuge. Well, thank God for that, Julian. Man, that's all freaky. I gotta go home, get high, and watch some of my old Pam Greer movies. <laughs> hey, it's Mikey here. You want to watch more? Subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share with your friends. Have a great day, dudes. See ya.